A toad randomly comes out of the bushes. Hello. Hi. Sure, it's in our closet. So that's where you've been for a month and a half. No, I already came out of the closet like years ago. So. <laughs> Let's see here. I have. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's not destroy. I can create water. I can destroy, <laughs> destroy water. water. I was wondering if I could dry stuff out. Well, it's not oh, really yeah. dry. Create, I don't know. Create or destroy is, water. Oh, uh, what's the issue? The issue is getting the cement to work in the wintertime. Hmm. Otherwise, it's going to be delay and extra cost. Uh, need to turn my volume way up. We need what to work in the Yono time? Uh, see now. The weather, there's, they're having weather problems, so oh. therefore it's going to cost a little extra just a smidge more. I mean, I can stand places that. and not quite sure how, I, I'm not a construction person, but like, would it help if I, like, Constantly dethawed things. Uh, no, unless you got some way of changing the weather or something. Okay. So yeah. you either you either can pause your work until uh, winter's over, thus uh, sending all your workers home and stopping everything and starting back up whenever it becomes spring again, or you can have the extra cost and continue on, and it'd be about a month late. Uh, How much more extra would it be? Yeah. You're looking at a, at another three thousand gold pieces. Uh, that would leave us with three thousand afterward. Say that again, George. No, we've got six thousand left after oh. the cost of the tower, so that would take about half of that out. That would leave us with three thousand afterward. Mm. I'm just I'm just telling everybody. Which one's more that. important? Getting it done sooner or cheaper? Getting it done, I, I think a delay would be worse. Okay. Alright. I mean, unless y'all want to sit and, uh, you know, continue living in, like, tents and, uh... <clears throat> mm -hmm. Cough, cough. I mean, I'm very comfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I might actually be able to help if I go out there every day, but that sounds like all I work, and I don't think Brandon would go out there every day. No, Brandon wouldn't. Yeah. It, it is winter. Yeah, it's cold. I don't think so. I have a nice fire in here that Timothy keeps warm for me. Yeah. I think we're... Uh, are, we, are we just going to halt, or are we going to have him uh, work through it? Or? I, say, I say we have him work through it. I'm sure we'll find something to do in the meantime that'll bring us in... All right. All right. So, so y'all have made the decision to go ahead and work through. Everybody's happy, especially the workers. They, they, <laughs> like, they like to, you know, keep keep their paychecks coming, type thing. Uh, about the middle of the third month, he comes to you once again. His name is uh, Georgie. Is that right? Did I pronounce that right, Georgie? Yeah, I think so. It's like an Italian name. Georgio? Anyway, Giorgio? Giorgio, that's it. Giorgio. He comes to you and says, ah, Good sirs, good sirs. There's a, just another slight little problem. Um, this guy is not a go getter. It's not. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we, we are uh, experiencing uh, problems with a rock quarry. Um, up there at at the rock quarry, they're they're having problems getting the uh, the rocks to the wagons and such because uh, apparently I'm not really sure exactly what happened, but apparently some there was some deaths and the oh. rock people are refusing to go down into the uh, pits now because of the uh, uh, whatever they say that they uncovered a, a, a huge dragon. So, and they're refusing to go into it. So there is a little, just a, just a slight delay. A huge dragon. Dragon. Like. Well, you know how peasants can be. You know, they, they do tend to uh, exaggerate things. It's probably just a mm -hmm. lizard. 
But, uh, you know, you never really know. Hmm. So we'll have to probably, uh, you know, hire some adventurers, maybe, to go and take care of this little, slight little problem. I'm sure it won't be no more than a couple of weeks delay. Well, we're adventurers. We don't actually yeah. go and hire other adventurers. We just well, do it ourselves. Yes, I understand it right there. I, I didn't know if y'all was busy. Extremely. <laughs> <laughs> we're you? not... We're not... No, we're not busy right now. I mean, we, in that we can definitely go and investigate. Let's but go anyway, investigate. that's... That's that, that was the only problem that we had with that right there. And, and as soon as we can get the, the rock flowing again, we'll be right back on schedule. One. One. Two. One. Zero. Start. Four. Four. Three. There you go. <laughs> so... Oh, well, we had some things that I'm assuming before this month was over, we we were going to go talk to uh, Nestor. B. Yeah, we, you and I had to go talk to Nestor. Yeah. And, and then the Lord Mayor to let him know we were going. Okay, to yeah. Yeah, you're right. I've kind of forgotten about that. But yeah. And that rod that we had to uh, appraise. <laughs> the ruby rod. The ruby rod. Yeah, we have to we have to find somebody to look at our rod. <laughs> Bran is really good at mm -hmm. that guy. Ben's <laughs> our go-to rod guy. Like, you, know. you gotta let me take a look at that rod. <laughs> I've seen a couple rods in my life. All right, so the Ruby Rod. Uh, you actually work on it, try to figure out exactly what it is and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it actually is. Uh, it's just a rod, pretty much. Uh, it was made about 300 years ago by Dwarven Sorcerers, ancient Dwarven Sorcerers, and, uh... The same the, ancient Dwarven Sorcerers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They made a lot the, of stuff in this area. They did. Uh, it, was, it was pretty neat. Well, it did. But the, the actual, uh, eye, or the, the ruby part on top of this here, Rod, is, uh, the, the Eternal Tyrant's Eye, is what it's called. Which is part of the oh, six that's the other part of, that. of power. That is correct. Oh no, I was oh. thinking it was the other part to that hammer to our key. Well, it, 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 could, needed, it, it could be. Oh, it needed a, a big ass ruby to go on the other end of that key. Well, we can't see that, or we can't sell that. <laughs> um, no. But if you remember, there was six keys of power, and those six keys of power, one of them was the Eternal Tyrant's Eye, and that right. must be what you have right now. We need uh, to ask uh, Nestor about that. That's true. I wonder if we could temporarily set it on the Master... Let's talk to Nestor first and see if that's even a good idea. Because <laughs> you and I don't really know anything about this. Yeah. All right, so uh, so y'all head is, up to to talk to Nestor then. That is a giant uh, ruby. <laughs> is everybody going with you or just two people? No, I, th I think we can all go. Uh, Ragnar, wouldn't you like some pie? I'd go. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah pie. Mm. All like right. The pie. Uh, whenever everyone gets to the uh, to Nestor's house. Uh, there's the, uh, little white picket fence on the out front of it there type thing. Uh, you see, um, uh, Mrs. Uh, Veed outside. She seems to be working her little garden type thing whenever y'all approach the, uh, white picket fence. And, uh, she stands up, wipes off her hands on her apron type thing. It's just, ah, oh, Sonnies, how are you all doing? I haven't seen you all in months now. Yes, we've been very well. How have you been, good lady? Wow, been doing great ever since Nestor's been back. He hasn't left at all. It's been awesome. Please come inside. Thank you. Yeah, let, me, uh, let right. me get you some some pie. We we would not say no. Trust me. Oh. <laughs> all right. She uh, heads inside. She hollers out for Nestor to let him know that uh, someone's here. And uh, he comes. Recipe. 
Yeah, he comes upstairs. Oh yeah, I think I had the eel pie. <laughs> Ragnar is all about the eel pie. Yeah, well, I thought his was the cheese. Oh, That's not whatever it was. Too. He, he went through like three or four pieces of it. Oh, okay. he's healthy. Yeah, yes, he does. Uh, so anyway, you all uh, or they, uh, Nestor comes upstairs and she sets out mm-hmm. stuff. First day, you just kind of visit a little bit. Takes you, you know, as you're eating your pie and that kind of stuff, y'all just visit. Tell him a little bit about how the tower's going, that kind of stuff. And then Nestor invites everyone down to uh, talk business. Right. If you wish to go. Yes. Yes. Are you- Ragnar, do you want to go with us or are you going to stay upstairs eating pie? Uh, I'll snarf this piece of pie down and follow y'all. Okay. Uh, that's a legit question for Ragnar because Ragnar is all about the pie. <laughs> pie. I remember that from the last time he, he was about that. Uh, side note, Darwin. Yeah. Me, me and you, I don't know if we need to have some kind of exorcism or a divination or something. Sit down and have a look at this axe. What? We, we've noticed some weird shit. This is between me and Darwin, not not you. <laughs> There's uh, that. At some point in time, uh, Ragnar's. What's wrong with Ragnar's axe? You don't remember? No. Oh, no. I, like, he asked me to look at it one day, and I went to look at it. I didn't notice anything different. And then his mood changed. He got all possessive about it. And later on, he was hurt. I know he was hurt. I know my Ragnar, or Ragnar when he's hurt. And <laughs> I know I, I know my Ragnar. <laughs> Do you now? And okay. uh, I turn around. That axe is completely clean, and he's healed. Now you yeah. enchanted that axe. Did you notice anything weird about it when you were doing it? No. Unless there was something there with uh, well, you know that was part of it when we found it. We can have Nestor look at it while we're here. Sure, he probably could. Ragnar would object. Uh, he probably would object, actually. Well, so long as we we have to frame it the right way, so long as we're not framing it as, That's hey, true. Ragnar, your axe is... Ragnar, uh, Nestor, uh, you talked to him about your axe, maybe he would like to look at it. Maybe we have to further fortify your axe. Here, let me let me talk to Ragnar. I can probably okay. make it. Okay, all right. Okay. And go through, and I'll, and I'll wait until Ragnar comes by, and I'll be like, Ragnar. Yeah? We sh- we need to show your axe to Mr. V. I don't think he has seen it yet. Okay. Do you think he can make it stronger? I was thinking because didn't he say that he could give us something? A boon, yes. And yeah, he said he could give us a boon. Let's let's see. If, yeah, there may be something that he can do to your axe to make it like even more powerful. Either I mean, that, or you know, he's he's more powerful than I am exponentially. But only to make it better. Yes, agreed. Only to make it better. It's something that will that will make your axe better. But let's just let him look at it and see what he has to say. What, what do you think? Uh, sure. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Where is he? Oh, is he down here? Where am I? Yeah. Mister's down here. I'll sit. I'll sit next to him since I was like his. All right. His book pal. I think there's enough chairs for everyone. Uh oh yeah yeah let's see here. Uh, wrong thing. down here. Grab it. Oh fireplace. Uh oh yes I have to. There you go. Okay so what is it that brings you all here away from your keep? Well, we have several matters. We wanted to meet with you first of all and find out how you were doing. Uh, we've been doing really good since I've been back. I had decided to semi-retire from my adventure days, uh, which is something I kind of was hoping to talk to maybe you all about. Uh, I still have lots of research projects and stuff to do, but I just can't leave my wife anymore. She's gotten a little bit old and easily taken advantage of and so I have decided that I'm going to stay here until after she is either in better health or you know the inevitable however you want to say that 
inevitable. Yeah. Until she kills over dead. She was <laughs> she's a very nice woman, she was very worried about you. Yes, that's uh and after that last little episode I have decided that uh I'm not gonna be able to go out and do it, but I still have lots of projects that I need to have taken care of. And I was interested, maybe you all might want to uh be my legs, so to speak. <clears throat> oh, I think we'd be interested in that, yes. In fact I wanted to, to show you this and I and I I'll show him the uh, the, the uh, ruby eye that we found. The eye, uh, what was it the eye of the tyrant? Yeah. yeah and I'll show him that. He says, well, that's exactly what I was after in the keep. That's the tyrant's eye. That is one of the six power keys of power. Uh, so, yes. I would be very much interested in that. What is it that these keys to power... I mean, aside from the obvious, which is power. I mean, specifically. Every ten years, the Citadel opens up. And that Citadel happens to be named, give me just a second, I'll go over and get the, the Citadel of Chang Loda. Opens up every, uh, what did I say, ten years, right? Yeah. Every ten years, it actually opens up. And no on that Ragnar. Yeah. And uh, anyway, you, uh, and there is some power that leads to that right there. That 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 I feel is a power source of some type. I do not know exactly what it is, but I think that it's a pet power source. But in order to get into there, you've got to have six keys. With these six keys, you can open up that citadel. It can only be opened up once every generation. I think it isn't a generation a hundred years, or is that a millennium? No, a generation. Uh, roughly, people will call a hundred years a generation, but okay. So every every generation, you can open it up with those six keys of power. But every ten years, the power surge actually goes off. So we're not really sure exactly what it is and that kind of stuff. It used to be an old dwarven, uh, uh, those dwarven city. sorcerers, and that's exactly what they used to be. They was they was a dwarven sorcerers, ancient dwarven sorcerers, <laughs> and, and so therefore I'm trying to get into this right here to find out more about what's going on in here. I think that it has something to do with the Emperor's power. Emperor's power? Or the Mage King's <clears throat> power. I think it's got something to do with that. <clears throat> so that's what I'm trying to get in there for. The Mage King is the Emperor, correct? Yes. What, uh... What's the next key of power we should look for, do you think? Well, there's a, there's a total of six of them. I was actually going to go after the... Uh, uh, give me just a second and I'll tell you. We have the jade statues, right? Yeah, yeah you have the jade statues. I was going to go after the Wraith Claw next. The Wraith Claw? Yeah. Uh, and I do have a little bit of information on it, so let me edit this and oh it's already done, so let me go ahead and show it to players. It'll look something like that right there. Interesting. Hmm. So if we can get very healthy. That is part of the key though. Ugh. It it said that that right there is actually the hand of the mage king himself. I don't know that for fact. As I say, I'm just really getting into all this right here. Uh, but by you all bearing my legs and being able to go out after these things, we might be able to uh, get more information. But you'd be able to find that right there in the uh, the Tomb of the Downs. The Tomb it's of the Downs. Down. Yeah. Which is located up. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yes, out there uh, between uh, Lake Men and the Winter River, as I recall. Yeah. Yes. There's also another key that is down here in the uh, Witch Light Pens, which is down here in this area. <laughs> is that? That's around the Witch Light Pens. Uh, that, that would be the... Uh, the Cypher of the Iron King. That's actually closer, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's right next door to us. Did you not hear the part about witches? Hmm. Right. Well, witches are kind of like dragons around here. People exaggerate. Right now, the dominant power down there in the Fins mm -hmm. is... Uh, what the hell they called? I forgot what they're called. Uh, li li lizard men. Or they're lizard. more, yeah, they're more territorial. But uh, there's several different mm -hmm. tribes down mm -hmm. there in the witch pens. Sure, we could just or ask. The witch like pens. The lizard men aren't necessarily warlike. They're just territorial. We may be able to find a way to bargain with them. Hmm. But it said that the the largest tribe there is the witch the witch doctor I guess you could say the the uh, totem person the shaman the one, yeah thank you the shaman is the one that actually has the uh, cipher of the Iron King he probably not going to get that closely well they never hurts to ask they may they may take something and trade for it they may have us do something for it. There may be something troubling them that they want uh, us to remove. We're good at removing things. Wait, and where was the uh, the hand at again? The hand was up here at the Tome of the Downs. Uh, several hundred years or a couple of hundred years ago, there was a great battle that was fought there. And there's a lot of uh, graves down in this, the very down. That looks much more accessible. Yeah, the door's already open and everything. Well, it's not in... It's not in swamps. It's just so much further north. I mean, we're we're so much closer to this other thing. Well, we can take the road. And the, uh, and the not crown, the, swamp. the crown of the things, which is this one right here. <clears throat> it is said to have gone down to the bottom of Lake Lake Nin. So we'd have to go underwater, probably. Good possibility. And I already have the uh, ring. You've got the uh, the uh, jade statues, and then we now have the uh, eternal tyrant's eye. So there's just three more pieces that needs to be gotten. And all of this happens to be need to be done uh, before the next two months because that's when the uh, the night of the home is and that's when we've got to open that citadel up. Okay. If we have that issue now with the quarry, I think we should be able to take out whatever problem that is at the quarry and then handle this switch light fins problem. And then we head north and knock out the two that are in the north together. Right. I would think that that would probably be the more expeditious way to go about it. They are, uh, our destruction of the thieves guild. <laughs> <laughs> think about it this way. The longer we wait to take them out, the richer they're probably going to be when we take them down. There you go. Now that's and then we That's true. Esther, I meant to ask you, while you were trapped and I was communicating with you, you said um, you had mentioned very specifically uh, to be wary of uh, Stoneman Fox. Was there any particular Ooh. reason? We're already uh, wary of him. I would like to see him burned to death, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> but why yes. specifically did you say that? Because while I was in captivity, he actually uh, 
talk to someone by the name of Stroman Fox. It sounded to me like it was somebody at a temple. He was talking to Stoneman Fox? He was talking to somebody by the name of Stoneman Fox. I do not know for sure if that's who it was. All I can say is, is he was talking to someone by the name of Stoneman Fox. Esther, since you've lived in the town much longer than I have, my, my immediate impulse is to go to the temple, pull him out, and, and burn him in, alive in front of everyone. Um, <laughs> that may not be the best course of action, but I don't know politics better. How, how much can we trust the Lord Mayor? Uh, I have never had any problems with him. I don't... I, I would trust him, but okay. that's me. You know what I'm saying? I've never had... I've always had great dealings with him. He's always been a fair, honest man as far as I can always tell. Okay. I mean, he's been, he's been perfectly fine with us so far. It's just... That's that's an, that's an anomaly for us. Used to, you know, usually we're, we're some sort of problem with someone like the Thieves Guild or these, you know, thrice damn Cordites. Yeah. Now, personally, I wouldn't vote for him next year, but, you know... But you don't believe he's corrupt? I do not think he's corrupt, no. Well, maybe no, we can... No more than Trump. <laughs> so he's super so in other words, drugs. In other words, it's just a political opinion, in other words, you know. So, well, we could perhaps uh, confront this uh, Stoneman in front of... Uh, I forget the name of the guy who's his boss. Um, we have a fairly good uh, rapport. Is it? Is it well, to you so far? Well, now, now I want to tell you, I don't have any proof. I just told you all to be aware of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any proof other than I heard his name mentioned. Hmm. Uh, Elder Jake? Huh? You said you, yeah, you heard it. Yeah. Yeah, Elder Jake was had talked about him. Well, it seemed friend, like he was seemed like he was talking to someone by that name. Friend, Nikron, Ragnar, Atone, what do you think we should do? Hmm. You know my first inclination, but I don't think I don't think burn. that my first inclination is always the, the proper way to go. Burn the town down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, also, Nestor, what do you know of Fletcher Hawk? Fletcher Hawk? Yes, the leader of the Thieves Guild, or at least he's one of their number. I don't know the name. It's okay, we're going to kill him in due time, and won't matter. <coughs> well, uh, I, I believe uh, you mentioned something about uh, a, a boon of sorts for our assistance in the tower? I th yes, yes. Not a problem. Uh, is, I was is, perhaps you like? wondering if you would be willing to, uh, if, if this is the item I'm thinking of, does that uh, decanter over there, perhaps does it uh, endlessly dispense seawater? Well, I guess it does. I was planning on giving it as a prize for the uh, tournament. But uh, alas, I didn't make it back in time. Guess who won the tournament? Oh, uh, it's yeah. yours. Yeah. Yeah. Nicaron, here you go, Nicaron. <laughs> <laughs> Nicaron's like sweet, freezing water. <laughs> uh, yeah, he he's is not a problem. I was planning on giving it giving it to the uh, for the tournament winners anyway. It's yours. Oh, well, it is uh, much appreciated. What about the rest of you? Just go, uh, Nick Ron. Didn't you? Did you? Did you decide on what you wanted already? Uh, basically something that would um, improve my defense. <laughs> Not a problem. He gives you a hat. <laughs> this here, this here is said to keep the rain off your head. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those things where you're too polite to complain. You're just like, oh. <laughs> I'll, look over, I'll look over at Nestor and I'm like, I, I, I think maybe he was thinking something more, more practical, like for battle. 
Oh, Ring. yes, I understand. So he goes over and gets a metal hat. <laughs> uh, he, what type of item would you like? Um, basically, like, some sort of, like, bracers or, like, necklace that helps me, uh, helps me not get hit as much or basically help my archery one of the two. Uh, would that be braces of archery? I think that would work. Let me check these out real quick before uh, I pop remember. them in there. How good they are. Probably not very good, but we'll find out. Ooh, those are nice. On top of your plus <laughs> one longbow? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's a little... <laughs> your, your decision. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just an uncommon item. Or it's listed in the uncommon item category. Hmm. You have, okay, while well, wearing these braces, you have proficiency with longbow and shortbow, and you gain a plus two bonus to damage rolls and range attacks made with such weapons. Yeah, I don't have any problem with that right there. Okay. It requires attunement. Don't you already have three that, that are attuned? Uh, I have my elven cloak and my elven longbow. And the boots, I thought. I don't have boots. I think we gave you boots while you were... And we gave you boots of Elven Kind. They were you part of the tournament. Cloak of Elven Kind. Oh, okay, well, maybe. They were boots, okay. Yeah, so I've got that. Oh, the bagpipes. I can unattune to the bagpipes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the bagpipes require attunement, do they? I didn't. I don't think I put those in there as a requiring attunement. Well, not, I, not, I, not I, item requires attunement. I swear yeah. I thought you had boots of Elven kind. No. I, didn't we give those to him when he wasn't here, though? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, Look on your character sheet, because if you did, I'd probably put it on there. Oh, I've got Cloak of Elven kind, and that's about it. Okay. Yeah, boots of Elven kind don't require attunement anyway, so even if he did have them, he'd be fine still. So. Okay. Yeah. So essentially, my longbow, my uh, cloak, velvet find, and my braces. That's it. Or I thought there were boots of velvet kind. Huh. But maybe I'm thinking wrong. about that cloak. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just an old elf. All right, um, Ragnar, do you do you want to go next? Do you want to ask him if there's? Yeah, I know. I want. I know what I want to ask. Can you give me night vision? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, um, <laughs> that's a good one, though. Yeah. Yes, I can give you night vision. <laughs> well, I can't. I don't think I can actually give you night vision. I think that I can give you some goggles that will uh, grant yeah. you night vision. Uh, well, that'll work. Goggles of dark vision. <clears throat> you don't want to see if he can make your axe more powerful? No, nope, it's good. I look over at Bran now and I'm like... Mm. Dark vision is more important because especially when we're down in the, like, if we're going into tombs or underground. Well, you always have my light to guide you. Yeah, but they're then called, you I think they're called goggles of night, right? Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, goggles of night. Excuse me. Out to 60 foot. <clears throat> so that means I need to change your character sheet. Or your character. Your token, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I got something better in your dark vision. It's called daylight. Mm. Yeah. 120 right. foot. <laughs> 
So there's two boons granted. Well, three. Three. Three boons granted. <clears throat> Leaves me since Atone didn't come with us? No, he was there. I kind oh, of was. assumed I was. I kind of assumed I was like well, looking I, on my tavern no, or something. We uh, I mean, you help save this man. He's willing to give you a boon. No, I mean, like I thought that I talked about, like uh, I, I mentioned a few times about um, my boon being the building for the tavern. Oh, this is uh, this is the right this is from the other people. This right here is from this mage. Oh, so I already so have the... You, okay. had, you had two boons. One was you got the property and stuff, and that was from that, uh, I forget his name, but anyway, from that, uh, those rich people. And uh, this right here is Nestor for I, I messaged him. you a few times about, um, asking Nestor at the beginning of that for Tavern as my boon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, I'm wrong. You're always right, I'm always wrong. Don't you forget it. Yeah, it's it's a it's like a boon. Uh so so yeah, I do remember you. It, you didn't request it of the other one. You requested this one here of Nestor, and he has already taken care of you. Yay! So yeah, it's just up to George now, or or Dar Darvon. <laughs> yeah, Darvon, you are. I think you actually got on. You said you wanted to do something. Yeah, um, I, all I would would request, all I really need right now, especially if we're going to keep tracking down these these artifacts of power, is I need I need spell books. I need access to spells more more than I have accumulated so far. Well, that ain't that is no problem. I don't mind taking you under my wing. Thank you. Yes, yes I would. Especially if you're going to be helping me out, I don't mind helping you out. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. Now, pretty much what ha what I have created here is you don't have limited ac unlimited access to everything, but if you need something before you go off on an adventure or something like that right there, you do have access to things that you may need. So, it's, you know, like right now you know that you're getting ready to go to a cavern. So, if you, now this is a personal thing, this is not something he's sending you on. But he may be willing to help you out, you know what I'm saying? So, it doesn't hurt to ask, but if you don't have it on your character sheet, do not have it. But. Well, that's fine. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm going to cast a spell without Ragnar you know. looking at me. <laughs> like, I'll look behind a bookcase or something, like I'm looking at something. Yeah. And I'm, I'm casting a message to uh, Nestor Veed, and I'm typing it out. Okay. While you type, I'm gonna go fill up my drink. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go get a drink as well. I'll be right back. Actually, I need to look and see if there's a li what the limit is on how much I can type. Because I know there's a message, a, a limit. Okay, it's not message. It is sending. That's it. That's it. Twenty-five words or less. Yeah. Oh, That's <clears throat> Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Boom goes the dynamite. You wanted twenty-five pieces of dynamite? No. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Okay. Um, 
I think I get a chance to whisper back. Yes, you can answer back in 25 words or less. What did I miss? Is everyone dead? Did Ragnar kill everyone? Yes, <laughs> Not yet, he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar, let me take a look at that axe. No! <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about. He <laughs> starts slaughtering yeah. everybody. Nothing <laughs> wrong with my axe. Y'all are crazy. You're right, there's nothing wrong with your axe. I just wanted pie, and to kill a lot of people. It's the ill pie, I'm it's not, not the axe. I'm not <laughs> person, I don't understand. The weirdest thing about it is the fact that it's not even like it's an item that we found like that. <laughs> Literally, Darwin created it. Well, we did find it. We found that axe yet. That's true. We found part of it. <laughs> don't, don't you put that evil on me. We found it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, he, he talks with y'all a little bit, that kind of stuff, and uh, he... I don't know if this would work or not. Let me, let me look at something real quick. Let me see what suggestion does. I know how do you spell suggestion? S U G G E I O N. There it is. I found it. Suggestion. You suggest a course of activity limited to a sentence or two that magically influences a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you creatures that can't be charmed or immune to this effect. I still have his book, too. His book? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, um, I don't know I have his book. But <laughs> what? You took one of his books? Yeah, y'all don't know about it. You told him not to, and then he snuck it out anyways. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> I was probably eating a wheel of cheese at the time. Probably. Stuff in your face. Calories. Smashing things. Uh... So, before everyone leaves, as he looks over at, uh, mainly Ragnar type thing, I would suggest that you all allow me to take a look at all your stuff, so that I can see if there's anything that I will be able to enhance it with. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. That's an exceptional idea. Oh, Definitely. yes, of course. I, yeah. Ragnar, let's see how you feel about this. What do I need to do? I think it's wisdom save. Uh, yeah, be a yeah wisdom, wisdom saving throw, and you've got to beat his DC. DC, and his DC is up there pretty good. Oh God! <laughs> a natural one. <laughs> oh, 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 we only got one boot. I'm so happy about this. Here, <laughs> I was wanting you to get this axe better. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now. Since everybody's already suspicious, but you gotta play like you're not, I just need to ask a question on this right here. Alright, it's not really him, though. It's something else that doesn't want to go. So it needs to make a will save, is that right, or not? Well, it's not the one handling it. I guess it would have to... Okay, I, I, see what I see what has to happen. Okay, you, of course, say, well, that's a re very reasonable quest. Oh, you're so on that. So you go to hand it to him. Now you need to make another one. 